wants to know. Come out, one of them. There's a raid on What are you looking for? What am I looking for? What do you think I'm looking for? The potatoes, of course. Well, don't you know there's an air raid on I don't care if they hit. Listen, Zeppelin. You hear that? Zeppelin's right over your head. Zeppelins, they blow. I want my potatoes. Oh, what's the odds? Hey, what the heck do you think you're doing? Can't you see? We're looking for potatoes. Anybody happen to mention there's a raid on? Yeah, I read it in the papers. We're taking shelter. Officer's shelter, huh? Yeah. <laughs> the old dame dropped her potatoes and she wouldn't take up until we picked them oh. up. Oh, <laughs> here. Let me go. Hey, cook that fight out of this fool. Do you want to be kissed by a bomb? Come on, Adam. Come on, move on. Gee, I thought that officer was going to arrest you for lighting that ledge. She didn't see it. Come on, lady. We got them all now. Where's the cabbage? Here you are. Come on, let's get under shelter. Confounded impertinence, I called it. Over here with their tom fool hair ship. A knee night already. Are you an American? Say, are you a mind reader? <laughs> yeah. yeah. Listen, I'm an American, too. Just one of the boys that couldn't wait, huh? Well, I don't know about that. Found myself one morning with nothing to do, so I thought I'd come to France. What for? Fun. Was it? No. Oh, <laughs> oh. Ah, come along. Hey. Hi, old man. Thank you. Nice to meet you. Here you are, Melinda. You can go off home. Thank you for nothing. And I thought I'll get you do what I do get home. The old man is that jealous you wouldn't believe. <laughs> <laughs> well, if they have any more of this nonsense, I'll write to the Times about it. Toodaloo, and God bless you. Good night. Bye. <laughs> well, that's that. Thanks. Where are you going when it started? Didn't think I was going. Bucking the palace? Can I give you a lift? Oh, your rolls is around the corner, huh? No, we wouldn't get a taxi. What address? 14 miles feet. Taxi. Well, bye. And you want to come up for a minute? Why? Sure, that'd be swell. I haven't got a thing to drink. Oh, <laughs> that doesn't matter. Yeah. Oh, thank you, sir. Why, I, I expect it's very comfortable. Yeah. Want a cigarette? Thanks. Here. Oh. Oh. Thank you. Uh. <laughs> it's a swell night, isn't it? Mm-hmm. 
Oh, there goes that take cover signal again. Another raid? Yeah. Yeah, I guess they've come back. Oh. <laughs> you have fun here, too. Huh? Have an American cigarette. I'll say I will. Ah. <laughs> huh. Yeah. Mm. Got it. Thanks. Uh, have you had your dinner? Uh oh. Well then, why don't you come out and eat somewhere with me? I can't. Every place is closed while the raid's on. Oh, that's too bad. But you can eat here. I haven't got a thing in the place. But there's a fish and chip shop right downstairs. Oh, that's great. I'll get on and get some. Well. That'll be easy. Well, it's been good enough for bigger folks than you. How much do I owe you? Four pound three and threepence. There's the bill. Well, I've got the three and threepence. I don't want any of your lip. Listen, you'll get your money. I'll get it for you somewhere. Yes, but when? Hey, <laughs> you know, uh, oh. My landlady, Mrs. Hobbs. Pleased to meet you, I'm sure. How do you do? We don't leave long. No, let's head into Waterloo tonight. The first leave for eight months. Oh, isn't that lovely? Your time's your own and lots of money. Well, no. Say, wasn't that somebody calling you downstairs, Mrs. Hobbley? Good night. Good night. Shut the window if you find it's too drafty. And I hope you'll have a very happy leave. Thank you. Good night, dearie. Oh, she's a pleasant old girl. Yeah, isn't she? You think I've gotten plenty of those? <laughs> hey, huh? what's your name? Roy Cronin. Oh, shoot, there's no more gas. Got a shilling, soldier? Sure. Hey, what is that, a slot machine? Sure, it turns on the gas. <laughs> I thought maybe you were getting a package of gum. <laughs> oh. Remind me I owe you a shilling. Yeah, wouldn't it be terrible if I forgot? <laughs> What's your name? Mara. Mara what? Mara Deauville. Deauville? Your family French? Oh, no. That's just a stage name. Oh. What's your real name? Let's eat, I'm starved. We don't have to wait for the kettle. All right. Where'd you come from? Locks Falls, do you know it? I'll say I do. Yeah? Sure. <laughs> Delivered your people? I didn't know the war broke out. You see, my stepfather's English, so he joined up. And of course, my mother came here with him. Is he nice? Yeah, he's grand. He's at least ten years too old to be in uniform, but he's in it all the same. Tommy? Mm -mm, major. R-A-M-C. You see, he was a doctor. Thanks. Oh. Uh, well, couldn't you have gotten a commission? Yeah, I suppose so. Well, didn't your mother want you to? Yeah, but it was too late. <laughs> you see, I was in summer camp in Canada. And coming home, we stopped off in Toronto. Gosh, things were just getting going. Flags, bands, all that bunk. <laughs> when I woke up, I was a soldier. You know, just boyish enthusiasm. Did it last? What? Boyish enthusiasm. No, you don't stay boyish very long in this war. I can see that. Gosh, I haven't seen him in three years. I bet you're kind of anxious to, huh? Yeah, kind of. I'm taking the first train out. Where do they live? They got a place down in Buckinghamshire. Tell me about you. Me? 
back a minute, will you? You don't have to care what a cheap chorus girl says to you. I suppose it was my fault, really. I thought you'd understand. I... I guess it kind of hurt you, didn't it? Yeah. You want another cigarette? Let's smoke these. Huh? All right. Do you like music? Why, yeah, I do. From the Bing Boys. Oh. <laughs> so 
Well, you've gone down to see your mother tomorrow. Mm hmm Oh, I'm glad. It's good for a soldier to get out of this town as quick as he can. Why, what's the matter with you? Well, it isn't healthy, that's all. There's only two things for a soldier to do when he's a stranger like you. That's get drunk and get mixed up with the wrong kind of women. Well, that's the bunk. I know the troops go wild sometimes when they get in a big city, but that's because they got no friends. But you see, I'm lucky. Why? Why? Well, I met up with you. Mm, that's lucky, isn't it? Mm-hmm. A few seconds ago, I'd blown you out. Oh, I've forgotten about that. I ought to have had more sense. I should have known a decent girl when I saw one. You've never been around with girls much, have you? Not much. What? When do you go back to the trenches? I've got 14 days. Say. Say, have you got a man or uh, somebody out at the front that you're interested in? <laughs> you mean somebody I knit socks for? Well, that kind of thing, yeah. No. I was thinking, uh, I was thinking it'd be swell if you could work up a little interest in me. Guess I could. Even to the sock knitting stage? <laughs> <laughs> well, I never tried knitting. <laughs> you know, I might have said. <laughs> <laughs> Gee, Barra, I like you a lot. Do you? Uh-huh. Who's there? It's me, dear, Mrs. Hobley. Well? I thought that she'd like to know they're standing the all clear in the street. Oh. Thanks. I think I'll be going to bed now, dear. All right. Did you want to see me about anything, dearie? Not now. I'll see you in the morning. Oh. Oh, all right. Good night. Good night. Sleep well. She is a nice soul, that Mrs. Hobley. Yeah. She's cute, isn't she? Yeah. Oh. Well, looks like the raid's over, soldier. I mean, you want me to buzz off? Well, it's getting kind of late. All right, I'll go. But say, listen, Myra, I've had an idea. How'd it be if you were to come down into the country with me tomorrow? Hmm? What do you mean? Well, change will do you good. You mean, come down to your family? Mm-hmm. I know you'd like them. Come on, we'd have fun. How old are you, Roy? Nineteen. Why? That's not very old, is it? Why? Oh, I don't see what that's got to do with it. What do you say? Will you come? No. Oh, Myra, why not? Pat, got to look for a job tomorrow. Oh, gee. Isn't that tough? I'll tell you what. I'll come and see you before I go in the morning. Uh-uh. I won't be up. Well, I'll wait till you get up. <laughs> Goodbye. Goodbye. Good night. Mara. Good night, Roy. Here! Oh. <laughs> 